Today I'm using Artist Loft Deep Yellow Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue Dollar Rowney from Walmart in the tube Crimson Red Liquitex Basics Prism Violet my favorite color Ultramarine Blue Master's Touch Master's Touch Lake Blue and then I added a little squirt of Artist Loft from Michaels Iridescent Medium to give it shimmer. The ratio of paint is about one part paint to three parts flood troll maybe and I'm doing a 10 inch canvas today and I'm going to use Walmart Color Place Ready to Use White Satin. I've got it in my big jug here. That's going to be my pillow. Got my colors. They're all mixed with regular U.S. Floetrol. So this recipe for the cell activator is still a U.S. recipe and I'm going to give it a try. It's one tablespoon of U.S. Floetrol. Again, this is the cell activator which will hopefully make the bloom. Amsterdam Titanium Standard Series White. I say get it if you can. It's easy to get on Amazon. And uh, it's guaranteed to, to be the right half of a tablespoon of PVA glue. You can also use Elmer's. And the other one ingredient that you'll need is Zinser Paint Booster Paint Additive. I got mine from Staples. So as you can see, this jug will last forever. I'm going to add it first since it's more fluid. Well, it's, it's liquidy. Let's put it that way. So a half of a tablespoon. which is, doesn't have any smell, but it's very liquidy. A half a tablespoon of the PVA glue. Half a tablespoon of the Amsterdam white. Now I'm not doing perfect measurements just kind of eyeballing it. I had a big pouring party here earlier with my regular acrylic pouring so that's what the big mess is. So on the cell activator you always want to stir it really really well. This is going to be thinner than your colors. I don't think I put quite enough white. I'm going to put, well, yeah, I'm going to put just another little drip because I couldn't tell from my measuring spoon if I really put half of a tablespoon. So I just put another little drip in. I don't want it runny runny and I may have added too much of the uh, it's supposed to kind of bounce back like elastic which that's working okay so we're going to put down 
the color place white satin ready to use paint from Walmart I have added a little GAC 800 just to prevent cracking and crazing this is a 10 inch canvas and I'm just going to pour a rainbow of colors I've been wanting to do this here lately so I guess I will give it a try and see what happens I'm going to take a 3 ounce cup and just kind of pour in colors so it's kind of like a layered cup the paints are kind of thicker and I'm not trying to do a ring pour or anything I'm just trying to make it random okay and I have you know the sparkle in the color so that gives it a little bit of a shimmer I'm just trying to center it basically so this is different from any other one I've done and it, it may it just may not work who knows I'm gonna blow it with my blow dryer one tile with each color like a traditional and I'm going to let this sit I'm going to spin this one. So this is basically a dirty pour with the cell activator, which I have no clue um, how it would have done, but it probably would have worked well with the uh, Australian Floetrol. I'm just going to stretch it a little bit, but I really kind of love the colors going on, and I don't want to really change it too much. I've got my white dots, but that's okay. This canvas is just almost big enough to where you can't get it on the turntable. I want to just kind of manipulate the white just a bit. I'm just going to leave it. I should have probably not tried a dirty pour with a different recipe for the cell activator right off the get-go, but it's still pretty. I'm going to put this aside. So it kind of worked with the Zinsser. Um, I might have to work on my ratios of the paint colors because I kind of mixed them a little bit uh, thinner with the Floetrol as opposed to the 2 to 1. I went about 3 to 1 or so and made them just a little thinner. So anyway, it's still very pretty and I will try another experiment in a little bit. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.